Within the UK, one in four of the population are affected by some type of mental illness. Essentially a hidden disability, difficult to recognise and from the outside, sometimes impossible to detect. That's potentially a lot of passengers on our buses or colleagues in our staff rooms and offices. So how can we deliver good customer service to all our passengers when some may require additional assistance if we can't identify the problem and so offer what help may be required? This programme will help you recognise situations which may present difficulties for someone with a mental health condition in accessing bus services, demonstrate how problems can manifest themselves in many different guises and offer suggestions in providing a helpful and considerate response. When you have an anxiety illness you are struggling with it every minute of the day. The journey starts when you start off from home. You know, I just overreact the whole time. And then you start to get all these horrible thoughts in your head about what's coming ahead. They don't go, they stay in your head and you just have to try. People only judge me on the sticks. They see the sticks, they automatically know that there's something not quite right. They can't see the mental ill health problems going on there and it's the anxiety and the panic that I have when accessing any form of public transport that causes me the problems. It's a hidden disability, but it affects one in four people, which is the, it's the most major form of disability. The DVD describes various user experiences, not just on the bus, but at bus stops, or when interacting with the driver and other passengers. Good morning, you alright there? there? Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. No worries. Lost your voice. <sighs> it explains some of the problems people face just in getting on the bus in the first place and explains how they would like to be treated and when necessary assisted by bus staff. Issues and reasons for behaviours that many drivers may not be aware of are explained by real members of the bus using public and drivers outline their experiences and suggest ways that they can yeah. help. It's not about being best of friends, it's about just being polite to each other, I think. The driver has to be patient and uh, in that instance the driver wasn't nasty to me. Uh, if he had been, it would have been quite distressing, really, to find you've got the wrong ticket for the, for the wrong... I didn't realise, uh, not being a frequent bus traveller, that these tickets weren't valid on all, all buses. Uh, so I did, did find that rather difficult. To help facilitate training, the programme is broken into chapters, with discussion points inserted throughout. In addition to this chapter video, the DVD includes the trainer's guide and workbook in PDF form. If a driver is pleasant or communicative to the public, that actually enriches his day, his or her day as well. It's a two-way process. If you know, it's not just. Uh, uh, something that affects the passenger, but the, the driver as well. You as a bus driver, your colleagues, your family, we've said that one in four have mental ill health problems. There's going to be at least one person you know that is close to you or you work with has a mental ill health problem. They're losing a lot of customers by not picking up on what's going on.